guys, welcome to my bathroom. I hope there's not an echo in here, although I can hear it, I'm sorry. How cute are these little coffee cups? My mom just made coffee and it's just adorable. I need to stop it with the Cuban coffee, I really do. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a full face of new makeup. We're gonna be trying on a bunch of stuff, but I wanna do something light and fresh and airy, so we're doing it in the bathroom. You know, we're, we're inspired by Vogue today. <laughs> I swear, I don't know what it is about the bathroom, that makes me want to watch all the celebrities put their makeup on. But today we are just gonna throw our makeup on. I put everything in my little bag and I can't wait to test these products. But before I get into that, I do want to kindly thank the sponsor of this video. Native. I love Native. I swear I will sing about Native to the cows come home and I got so excited to see their newest launch. It's their new deodorant and body spray collection, which I got extra excited for this because although I love all of Native's products, deodorant is what started it all for me. I truly fell in love with this brand because of their deodorants. You guys know, I was on the hunt for an aluminum free deodorant that actually made me smell good all day because most of them don't but the native ones really really work for me I smell so good throughout the entire day so when they came out with deodorant and body spray in one I was like oh my god I need that because now you can smell good in your armpits and on the rest of your body the best part is that it's an ozone friendly natural propellant spray that is amazing and all of their scents all of their scents are so good but you guys know me I am a vanilla coconut girl I love their coconut and vanilla scents this one is my favorite. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Perfect for the summer, especially since it's for your whole freaking body. I have become obsessed with spraying this right after my shower, like before I get into bed at night, because I don't know about you guys, but I have to put on deodorant before I go to bed because I am a nighttime sweater. And so I put on deodorant every single night before bed, but I've just been like spraying this everywhere on my armpits and on my body. I love this. Plus I really like the formula. Like it feels really cooling when you apply it. Like it gives you a really nice fresh sensation. Coconut and vanilla is hands down my favorite, but if you want to smell like a spa, oh my gosh, you need eucalyptus and mint especially at nighttime before you go to bed, like after your shower. Oh my gosh, eucalyptus and mint. <laughs> Heavenly. But yeah, I freaking love Native. You guys know this. They're vegan, cruelty-free, aluminum-free. So yeah, truly, thank you to them for working with me because I love them so much. I do have a code for Native, and I will also be linking it down below, but basically you can save 20% off with my code. If it is your first purchase at Native, you can save some money. And yeah, shout out Native. I love you guys. All right, let's uh, put some makeup on. Okay, since we're channeling our inner celebrity, I'm gonna apply my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. We wanna feel like a spa, like we're, not, we're at a spa. <laughs> Bro, I know that's fancy water, but damn, it does feel good. And it smells so good. By the way, esta carterita, so cute. I got it on Amazon. Like, how adorable is this? I love it so much. Link in my Amazon storefront. I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy Tower 28 Intensive Rescue Serum. This is gonna be my primer today. Have any of you guys seen The Little Mermaid? I need to watch it so bad. It looks so, so good, only Sebastian like really threw me off. Like I know he's a crab, so like what else did I expect? But like seeing his mouth like that, I was like, oh, que te pasó Sebastian? But it looks so good and she is stunning. Okay, I just realized I wasn't recording, but I just applied my uh, super goop SPF to my face and I wet my little Dominique Cosmetics sponge. This looks really good. And I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation. It has 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid. This is their new Illuminance Foundation. This actually isn't the first time I'm using this. I've used this like three or four times and I actually really, really like it. But it is the newest foundation in my collection and I haven't used it on YouTube yet. So I really wanna show you guys what it looks like. The color isn't for me. They sent me like three different shades and this is the one that was closest to my skin tone, but it's the shade 213. It's just like a little bit like pinky for me or like the undertone is a little bit off, a little gray. My undertone is a little bit more like olive, but it works. I've actually never applied it with a beauty blender or any type of sponge. I usually use my brush, but let's see. I just really, really like the finish. I feel like it covers everything, but it's not cakey and it's nice and glowy without it being too dewy. And it doesn't feel sticky or greasy. It kind of makes your skin look a little bit plumped. I know that sounds weird, but it's very fresh and hydrating. But the coverage is good, you know? I mean, it's definitely not like Revlon Color Stay coverage, but for like one of these healthy foundations that's like more lightweight, I like the coverage. I'm getting less coverage for sure with my beauty blender or with my little beauty sponge, but that's to be expected. 
it. Okay, this is the foundation on my face. Obviously, if you want more coverage, I would recommend using a brush because the sponge, like I said, absorbed it a bit. Okay, I'm gonna take the Dominique Cosmetics Concealer. I also have used this before, but I haven't used it in a while, and they just sent me this shade in Almond Milk when they sent me their cream blushes recently, so this is what we're gonna use today, and honestly, I picked this concealer because it has this really delicious cold metal ball at the end, and it just makes my under eyes feel so nice and cold, and it wakes me up. Perfect bathroom get ready with me concealer. And there's caffeine in this concealer, so it like wakes up the eyes, you know? If you're watching this and you're like, wow, she looks like she's being aggressive it's because I am. I don't notice how rough I am until I look back at my videos and I'm like, damn girl, chill. You're gonna give yourself a black eye. Okay, I just added some of that concealer to my T-zone and a little bit of that on my lids for primer. I'm just gonna quickly dust some of later days onto my lid, so you can tell. It's my favorite shade in the palette. And this is a fairly new palette. My other one was crusty. I swear, this shade is perfect for every day when you want to put something on your lids, but like not much either, you know what I mean? Like a little touch, a little kiss of color. Okay, I have never tried this shade before. I have used this product before, but it's a new color for me. So this is the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick, but this is in the shade Bright Side. And the one that I'm used to using is like a very like shimmery, golden, warm one. But I'm very curious to see how this one's gonna look on me. It does seem a little bit too cool for school. Too cool for me. I like something a little bit warmer, but we'll see. We'll see. Don't show she book by his cover. Okay, I'm just gonna draw this on and blend. By the way, I'm using the It Cosmetics Heavenly Lunts. It Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Angled Radiance Brush. The hell? Is a heavenly lungs. Ooh, actually, you know what? That color is really, really nice. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too gray, but the undertone is fairly neutral. Ugh, this formula blends really well. Okay, tu sabes, Selena Gomez can do no wrong. What do you want from me? I feel like this color would be perfect for me, like in the fall and winter time, because for summer, I do like something a little bit warmer, but it is a great contour shade. Okay, we're staying on the Rare Beauty train. Rare. Can I speak today? The Rare Beauty train here. They just launched brand new dewy blushes and these are limited edition. I have Worth and Virtue and I've never tried their dewy blushes, just their regular blushes which are amazing, super pigmented, but I prefer something dewy so I'm very excited to try these. I think I'm gonna go with this shade, this shade. I know a little goes a long way with these puppies so I'm not gonna dot it on my face. I'm gonna take my little e.l.f. complexion duo brush and dive in. <gasps> Beautiful. <laughs> I love the shade. Color is really pretty. I'm so sorry if this lighting sucks. I'm still trying to figure out my lighting as I build a new setup and figure things out in my life. So if I look a little bit washed out, I'm sorry. I will get the hang of it. Let me know what you guys suggest. I need a brand new ring light because my ring light is from like 1987 and I feel like it doesn't even get bright anymore. And I know, I know I've been telling you guys that I need a new ring light for like six months, but oh, I'm a mess. <gasps> Wait a second. Rare Beauty launched a brush for this. And I have it right here. Can't believe I wasn't using it. Although, shout out Elf. Affordable and good. I really, really like this color. And the formula is so pretty. Do you see that? I'm not sure if you can. I don't know why I got further away. I feel like you can see it better from back here. Take my word for it, okay? It's stunning. This brush actually makes it really easy to apply. It's good because it doesn't take away from the pigment, this brush. Just spreads it out evenly. We are glowy, friends. We're gonna skip highlight because number one, I don't have a new one. And also, we're juicy enough the way that we are. You know, the further I get into this video, the more I realize I don't have that many new products to discuss. It's kind of not a full face of new makeup, is it? <laughs> Look at my Kosas powder that shattered in my makeup bag, so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself a little something something. I'm gonna add a little bit of this JD Glow Cosmetics Eyeliner. I'm gonna do like a baby wing. This is in the shade Insight. It's just like a nice little metallic purple. Oh no, I am so shaky from this coffee. I don't know why I do this to myself. I am my own worst enemy. Da, 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 da. Did you guys ever change the lyrics to songs when you were younger? Me and my cousin had this thing. I feel like I've told you this story before. 
If I have, I'm sorry. Me and my cousin used to change the lyrics to like all the songs and sing them in Spanish. Like we'd translate them and try to do like the same beat in Spanish. My favorite one we ever did was Pretty Ricky. Tengo zapatos no en el carro, manejando por no en cinco. You know the song, Your Body, My Body, or whatever it's called. <laughs> oh no, I got purple eyeliner on the floor. This is what happens. Wow, oh, my wings are so uneven. They definitely don't look like cousins. They don't even look like friends. You lucky if, if they live in the same neighborhood. But it's a nice little touch, no? Really brings out the eyes. Let me curl my lashes. I really hope Native doesn't watch my entire video because embarrassing. Okay, turns out I didn't have a new mascara either, so I just threw on my Cali Ray one. I'm gonna try out this new Lunar Beauty lip pencil in the shade Milk Tea. Okay, this is, this is also a product that I had that's not new. Maybe I should change the title of this video, but these are all new. <laughs> anyway, Nabla Cosmetics just recently came out with these sheer lipsticks and this one in the shade Lunar. Oh my God, I just realized that. I used the Lunar Beauty Lip Liner and this is a, a lipstick called Lunar. How funny. I love this formula. It's so, so pigmented, but sheer and shiny. It's so lovely. And it's nice because you can apply it in many different ways. Like you can get full on glossy or like a very soft application. And so a lot of the times I just like to dab it on. Just to get a little bit of shine, but I like to do this when I don't want it to look too glossy. Okay, I'm gonna take my Thrive Cosmetics Instant Makeup Fix Setting Spray to lock everything in place. And now my makeup isn't going anywhere, baby. But okay guys, that's it. That completes this video. I am really, really liking this Rare Beauty blush. I think I forgot to mention the name as I was applying it, but this one is called Worth and I love it. I also really, really love their Worth lip liner. I'm gonna try that together for a monochromatic look. But yeah, I've also really been liking this foundation. I feel like it's nice and fresh and dewy and makes my skin look kind of plump. It does like settle into the lines a bit. I have other foundations in my collection that don't settle like into my smile lines as much, but it's affordable and I love the finish. So yeah, please, please, please request videos for me down below. I'm serious this time. I'm gonna get back into filming and it's gonna be like Kathleen Lights 2014 all over again. So yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see from me next, but that completes this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. 28 and with that. I don't know what this, that song says. <gasps> I just stabbed myself. How much is that doggy in the window? Came through the window. Y estás gone.